Hello, brothers and sisters. My name is Ozana David. I want to thank God for another beautiful day that He has saved us to see and has given us the opportunity and the privilege to share His Word with the world again. Uh, in case you have not subscribed, please subscribe so that you can get updates whenever a new video is posted. This is one of the messages that the Lord gave me. It was on the 13th of July 2017. Uh, the Lord spoke with a, a very heavy heart and His voice breaks my heart. The Lord told me that I should warn men because it is not His will that men should perish, but their choice shall choose for them a place of their eternal stay. That means the place they are going to stay forever after this earth, the world to come. The place they are going to rest eternally. Rest, I mean in heaven or without rest in hell. And the Lord said, like a, like a seller who forces no one to buy, so I force no one. There is life and death before all men. Let them choose. The Lord has placed before us life and death. It is for us to choose, but He is advising us to choose life. How do we choose life? It is by obeying, repenting of our sins, confessing them, and stop engaging in the same things we have confessed to have repented from. And not just that too, we have to preach the word of the Lord and encourage people to stay away from sin. How many of us are really saved today? If Jesus returns right now, how many will rapture with Him? Are you saved? The church has become so worldly. This is the word of the Lord. Please, if you are not saved, repent. The Lord is not happy with the situation of the world because a lot of people are going to die and go to hell even a lot of Christians are going to hell not because they have no zeal but because they have been deceived to believe that God is not going to judge the world if you say you are saved if you say you have a new life in Christ Jesus, but you have no new relationship with sin, you were never saved. Confession without action is a dead faith. Faith without work is dead. If you believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God and that He dies for you and that He takes away your sin and gives you the gift of righteousness and new life in Himself, then from that moment, that confession should motivate you to change the way you live. And just says, He who says, I know Him, yet walks in darkness, does not know Him. What does it mean to walk in darkness? Is to be a fornicator, is to be a murderer, is to be a backbiter, is to be a, a, a thief. If you are still doing these things, these are the works of the flesh. If you are still doing them, yet you confess Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior, remember, in Him there is no darkness. Heaven will not contain you. The Bible says, the foundation of the Lord standeth sure. Let those who name it the name of Christ depart from evil. The foundation is very sure. Jesus does not want anybody to go to hell. Neither the Father nor the Holy Ghost. Nobody should go to hell. It is not the will of God. But you have to choose. If you want to give your life to Jesus Christ, I want to pray with you. Father, I pray for your children 
even those who have once given their life to you but have become so lukewarm. Forgive the sins of your children. Jesus, please help your people to love you and to repent of their evils, evil from their evil ways and love you in sincerity and in deed. Lord, may your spirit be released upon this, your children. Come into their hearts and change them so that they can escape the fire of hell. Thank you, Lord. Reveal yourself to them in their dreams. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, amen. If you don't know the Lord and you want to know the Lord, please drop a comment or reach me through the email on the screen. I will definitely reach back to you. Thank you and God bless you.